fellow Sudokans and welcome to Zen and the Art of the Guardian Sudoku Puzzle. It's Wednesday the 26th of October 2022 and I hope you are keeping very well. Uh, we shall get on with the Guardian medium level game in a mo. Uh, but before I go ahead I would just like to say about uh, something about YouTube and how it's, it's a really great thing at times. Um, sometimes terrible sometimes excellent but you know it can we can learn some new things and some surprising things we have to be careful about our source material um this morning i woke up and i saw there was a video from somebody that i link to on this channel i recommend uh, as a really intelligent person who has great analysis on science in terms of data analysis and this is a really important aspect of modern life and things we need to understand uh, in a in a way in a great way. She is not a medical doctor, but she is a data scientist. Uh, her name is Rebecca Watson, and if you've looked at the front page of this channel, you'll see that I link to her as a channel that I love to watch, and I do really love to watch her stuff. Well, she made a comment in a video the other day about Tylenol, which is a U.S. brand name for paracetamol that we call in the U.K. and uh, Paracetamol, I think, is used as a generic word across the globe. Here in Thailand, we call it paracetamol or paracetamol, whichever you prefer. And um, <clears throat> saying it was useless, she made an offhand comment like that. And lots of people kind of uh, wrote in and say, well, what are you talking about? And then there was a, a, a video uh, just today or yesterday, I guess, um, looking at the efficacy of uh, paracetamol or Tylenol uh, as studied by the Cochrane Institute in the UK and the Cochrane Institute is a proper scientific place remember I would never lead you into any kind of conspiracy theory or <laughs> nonsense like that um, um, but the, the Cochrane Institute is uh, quite well respected for being very independent independent of big pharma but not in the way of like being conspiracy theorist or anything like that they have proper data science research and uh, apparently uh, it's been known for quite a few years that for many types of pain um, paracetamol is pretty useless it's only slightly better or no better than placebo and that really surprised me because I do take paracetamol if I have a headache or something um, I generally take it and I think that it works well, of course, that's anecdotal, right? So <laughs> I'm not sure about you, but you might take it and it works as well. Uh, that doesn't mean to say you should never take it, of course, but um, uh, if it's acting as a, as a placebo, it's kind of interesting. Uh, there is also some data to suggest that long-term massive use of uh, paracetamol can uh, cause some problems with internal organs, etc. And uh, so if you have to take this on a regular basis, it might be worth investigating. Uh, of course, never take one um, data point as your as everything. Of course, we need to always, you know, incorporate all sources. But um, she does. Rebecca does a lot of uh, an, uh, research before she makes her videos to make sure that she can find uh, proper um, scientifically backed data, not conspiracy theorist data. Never, um, but you know, proper si which she will poo poo immediately. Uh, proper backed data and. So in general, she said she couldn't find much about it. The only other study she could find was from was backed by one of the companies, Johnson & Johnson, that make uh, Tylenol. So, um, but anyway, uh, quite interesting stuff and food for thought or medicine for thought, maybe. OK, let's get on with the... So I recommend you watch that particular video, but I recommend you subscribe to her channel as well to find out some really excellent things about life, politics included as well. Very um, astute thinker she is. Um, right, this is the Guardian medium level Sudoku puzzle. I'm not going to bother explaining the rules. I'm going to jump straight in and tell you what I can see. I can see twos blocking down like this and two across here. And that's going to give me a two in this square. I'm sure you understood the rules of Sudoku. And even if you haven't understood them, you can probably guess just by looking at what I'm doing on the screen what it is. OK, in goes the two. Uh, we can now say that the 8's block down here like this, and that's going to put an 8 in that box there as well. Um, <clears throat> so what's missing? 3, 6, 7, OK. Uh, OK, let's uh, explore. Um, 
we have one blocking across here and across here that puts a one into that square there we have one blocking down here and across here that puts a one there um Oh, still quite early in the morning here. I'm properly woken up. We have nines blocking across these rows here, which I should have done a moment ago, I suppose. Let's put the nine there. And we have three blocking across here. That puts the three there. And then six will finish this, uh, this part of the grid, this small block here. We have six blocking across here and six up here. So six goes into that square. We have sixes blocking up these two columns and across this row. That's going to put a six just there we have six blocking across this row this row and up this column so we know six you will go there uh, all right probably there's a lot to choose from now let's see um. Yep, we have uh, one blocking up here and up here, so that's where the one goes. One missing digit from this column. Uh, I think that's a seven. It was indeed. Four blocks down here, so four goes in that square. The missing numbers here are three and nine. That means that this square cannot be three or nine. It must be the other number, the other number, like the other woman is a five five blocking across here five across there five goes down there five blocks down here five across here five in that square there three blocks down here like this and three is in that square the missing digit here is a nine <coughs> We have uh, one blocking up this column, up this column as well, and across here, excuse me. So that's the location for digit one. We have one across here and across here and up here. So that's where the one goes. We have one blocking down here from there, one blocking down here and across here. That's digit one. Digit one is now done. We don't need to worry about it. We have three blocking this square over here. So three is there, nine finishes that block there. We have nine blocking this square here. We still need a nine in this row, so nine goes there. Seven is in that square there. We have four blocking across here like this. That means that four, oh no, actually four blo blocking across here as well. Four is in that square. It wasn't what I was aiming at, but I just noticed it. Four blocks up here like this. And we need a four for one of these two squares here, right, to finish the row. So that's where the four goes. And the last digit there is a seven. <clears throat> seven blocking down here and down here. So seven is in that square seven across here and across here seven down there oh look there's just an one empty square there let's do that quickly uh, the missing number there i think is a five and there's one empty square down here too and i think that's got to be an eight so eight blocking up here down here and across here that's where the eight goes um three blocks down here so three is in that square eight is in that square eight blocks up here and eight blocks up here and across here so that's where the eight goes the last number to get here is a nine i think okie dokie uh not much more to go now is it's been a very easy uh, medium level puzzle hasn't it hasn't needed any real thought to be honest with you um, we have six blocking down here. We need a six for this row, so that's where the six must go. Then the three will finish off that row. 
Um, right, what's missing now? Uh, down here we're looking for five and six. We see the blocking six here, so six is in that square. Five is in that square. Five blocks up here, five blocks down here. Five goes here. The missing digit up here is a nine, I think. Nine also blocks this square here, so nine will go there. And the last number here is a two. Um, one empty square for this column, which will be completed by a four. Uh, we have four blocking across here and four blocking up here, so that's the position for four. Um, what's left to get? Not much more now. So we're looking for two, three, and seven. So we have seven blocking up here. That's where the seven goes. The last number here is a two. Now seven blocking across here means that seven goes there. Three is the last number for that block. Three blocks across here. Three goes here. And two finishes a very simple uh, medium level, so-called medium level puzzle from the Guardian. But really that was a very easy level beginner game, I would suggest. Thank you very much. Uh, hope to be back later, although I've got work to do today. And I'm probably going to have to take the cat to the hospital again. So... I'm not sure how much I can do, but I'll try to do some more later. Bye-bye.